All right, guys, we're back. It's been a couple days. Let's get started. I already got all the junk out. I'm gonna start grabbing some good boxes. The mirror on this is busted, so I don't think it's nice enough to wor you know, warrant fixing it. All right, let's see what's in here. Nothing. Nothing. All right. This is some kind of uh, RC car right here. Huge. Huge RC car chassis. Very neat. Look at this Sing Tricks. Sing Tricks. And it's got this uh, big thing right here. I think this is for an iPad. Yeah, so when you are. And, oh, here's. Oh, and then here's the mic. The mic stand. This is a mic stand but with a thing that clips on for, I think, your iPad. That is very neat. Very neat. I'm going to put that aside, actually. I think we could use this at church, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> That looks like a standing still, but it's actually going around. It's like a helicopter. Look at this. Represent Jiu Jitsu, Stockton, California. It's kind of funny because that's where we sell, Stockton, California, but also where the Diaz brothers uh, train as well as a bunch of other fighters. That's cool. Not as cool, but might be a little valuable. This right here, Lotto or Zoto or something. Lotto, I think. Italian sports design. That's made in China, but it is a uh, very nice jacket. It says soccer on the back. Is that a, like a coach's jacket or something? I'm not sure, but it seems a little bit nicer. So I think I went through that box right there, but a lot of these boxes, and they were stacked up pretty high. A lot of good clothes. Maybe I mentioned that before I left last time. This clothes, uh, I think this is just Stockton clothes. Uh, here's a piece that just fell down right here. Uh, I don't know. doesn't look like anything too special. So, uh... Yeah, I went through a lot of these boxes. Let's see what's in here. All right, there's ski boots. Nordica, my goodness, they look brand new. Brand new ski boots. That's, I don't know, if, I don't know if that's sellable really. Maybe five bucks at the market. So they look like they're older style. Huh. Mm, a lot of Nerf guns and stuff. That one's rattling around. It probably shouldn't do that. I have a feeling this is a guy who went around at the end of garage sales and offered to take all their stuff for free or he went around on trash pickup day and grabbed good stuff that people had. That doesn't mean this is going to be a bad locker. It just means that it's not going to be any high end stuff most likely. So it means he's like he's a curb. Uh, uh, what do you call it? A curb picker or a dumpster diver? Still don't know what that is, but a couple times I've gotten lockers from guys like that. They have It's been decent stuff. They had good eye. They only took the better stuff or they only kept the better stuff. I just went through that whole box. Most of it's going to Stockton, and most of it's pretty decent. Um, I pulled out only a few pieces to go to Danza. Ah, oh, didn't notice. This is a leather jacket, but the lid is all messed up. All right, never mind. <laughs> That'll go to Stockton. Uh, I pulled this piece out right here. This is a Kirkland brand, so Costco. They make some good clothes. Um, I know it's not made by them, but, you know, under their brand, they only do some decent stuff. No price, but it's brand new with tags, so I'm going to take that out to a better market, try to get 10 bucks. It's extra large. This right here is a leather jacket. It's kind of nice looking. It's got an old, older look. Lucky Legend is the name. 100% genuine leather. Oh, man. They got a little paint or something on there. Looks like it's coming off. Yeah, it's coming off. I don't know where it came from. But... And then I just want to show this. This is a older piece of camouflage military issue. Reminds me of uh, the stuff I'd buy from the army surplus places at the flea market back in the 80s. It looks like it could be Vietnam era, but I don't really know. Uh, this is an older one. I just want to mention that in, oh, well, let's see, I'm, actually, I, I think I put it in my locker already. I pulled out probably half a dozen jackets, half a dozen pairs of military issue camouflage pants, but they're newer stuff, newer stuff. And uh, that stuff sells pretty good. It's usually like 15 bucks a piece, but I think we're gonna bring it to De Anza and try to get just this time ten dollars a piece if there's anything twenty dollars or better we'll pull it out and stick it somewhere special but most of the clothes this time we're gonna go ten dollars so i don't think we have the high high end stuff like we did last time hey that's kind of cool nice j letter j <laughs> i got this box here let's see what's in here i did take it out and it looked in it looks kind of interesting a little backpack oh oakland a's that's neat day trick more clothes quicksilver What's this? Billabong. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that's a little bit nicer right there. That might make the cut. That goes in the keeper box. All right, a bunch of ties. There's some One Nike flip-flop. I'm putting all the loose shoes in there. We'll match them up later. There's a manga book. Damage on the corner there. Sometimes these are some big money right here. I'll put it aside for now. There's an Asics. Big old shoe. 
Genuine merchandise. Oh, nice. Just this good dress. Oop, not nice. Not nice. Look how messed up that is. That's too bad. It's brand new, but how to get so worn? Oh, look at that, guys. That is cool. He-Man, Masters of the Universe, right? This is Skeletor, 1981. That's a real deal. That's that's a neat piece. Not super big money, but it's super big. Cool. <laughs> Gloria Vanderbilt. All right, I'll go through this. Look at, see, you got spoons and miscellaneous trash mixed in. I'll go through and pull all the good stuff out if there is any good stuff. There's a Batman costume. All right, I see something good. I see something good. Start the film. All right, official fan sportswear. This looks a little bit older. Made in Korea. Yeah, I think this is old right here. 49ers. That's a nice piece. That will not be a $10 item for sure. Uh, but that will go to the ends of flea market, I think. Either that or our live auctions, but I don't know. All right, not too exciting, but a pair of Levi's. I always put the Levi's aside and then check this out. Berman's The Leather Experts Made in Korea. It's pretty creased up. It's gonna need to be hung up and maybe steamed or something. I don't know how you would get the wrinkles out of leather like that, but this has a funky look to it. I love it. Definitely looks kind of like 70s. That's, that's pretty dope. I don't know. This is cool. Yeah, this is cool. Look at this. <laughs> Players Club. Put that on a table. Put your chips in here. That's nice. This, this is kind of neat. All right. Kind of neat. But it is. It's popping out here. I'm going to have to put it back in there. That's kind of neat, though. What do we got here? That's pretty. Huh. It's cool. That's neat too. They're pretty neat, but they're going to Stockton. All right, guys, we got a bin here. Kind of interesting. Got a little horror magazine, heavy metal, uh, another heavy metal. Got Conan the Barbarian. You got this thing right here, which I don't know what this is, but look, you can tell something's in it. Hey, right, what's this? Nothing. And then there's this Dick Tracy, 10 cent comic. 1956. Holy smokes. This is kind of cool. 10 cent. I'm going to leave that in there. Hopefully, eh, that's a little inappropriate. Maybe I don't leave it in that one. <laughs> um, I want to protect it, though. Oh, look at this. Oh, I am Jesse James right there. This right here. Comic book. Essential guide for comic book fans. Uh, that's... Ooh, what's that? <laughs> that's some kind of transparency there with Spider-Man and Venom. Very cool. I'm going to put it in there to keep it nice and preserved. Manga book. Okay. Cracked. Oh, that's an old cracked. 1981. Mazda 626 repair manual. I have to look that up. This I don't think is going to be worth that much. It's pretty cool, but yeah, I don't know. What's this? Comics. Okay. Oh, how to draw. That's $1. It's a little bit older. Mad. And the back page is folded. Okay. Manga. The guide to drawing people. There's another manga book. Chocolates. Bent cover, unfortunately. Oh, Marvin K. Mooney. Are you one of the banned ones? Oh, man, someone drew all through that. Some kids drew on it. Another Mad. <laughs> Popeye. I had that Mad magazine when I was a kid. Mad. All right. Wait, what is this exactly? 1928 right here on this newspaper. Hmm, that's kind of neat. 1928. It's old. Angular Momentum and Quantum Mechanics. That sounds like a real fun read right there. Just kidding. All right, now, the thing, now it's got me kind of excited. Maybe we're going to find some more comics. Found Tencent, Dick Tracy from the 1950s. Uh, these are neat. Those are really neat. Hmm. Singo Splash. That's some cool looking dishware here. Oh, holy smokes, guys. I thought this looked nice. Just looked it up. Check it out. A bowl. That's not it, but 30 bucks on a bowl. There's a set of six soup bowls, which that probably is 40 bucks. Wowza. Brown mug, coffee chili soup. That's not that one. A little different, but that one mug's 25 bucks. That, that seems... There, okay, there's a coffee cup with a saucer and 10 bucks. But still, that's a little better, a little better. Nice. Mm hmm? Found gun in storage unit? Huh? <laughs> it's a toy. But here's a, a Disney plush right here, Donald. It's written in some Asian language, but there's some English too. But it makes me think maybe it was sold at the uh, Disneyland Japan? Tokyo, maybe? I don't know. Okay, that is funny. I've never seen this version of Operation. Brain surgery. 
Oh, that's that is really funny. <gasps> so you got to reach in, feel, and find matching game. Oh my goodness, that is really funny. Hey, that tickles. He he he. <laughs> okay, not too much. Twenty-one dollars sold. Twenty-five. 20, 15, 18, 12, or the piece is only 12 bucks, okay. 10 bucks, not complete, 10 bucks. So it looks like 20, 25 complete. Okay, this looks like a camera bag. Panasonic, all right. Eh, that's okay, right? Palm quarter with photo shoot, looks nice. Looks like it's in nice condition, I mean. Model PV-L691D, all right. Charger, battery charger, some cables, and there it is, more tapes. There's a sealed one, very good. Uh, <laughs> ski ball, that's pretty funny. And transparency film. Okay, these laser discs are kind of, kind of interesting. I mean, not super interesting, because, but I know that some of them have a little bit of value. Jewel Denial, Robin Hood. Rich and famous, and that one, that one is uh, still sealed. I don't know if that means anything at all, but Robin Hood. Here's another sealed one. The Great Caruso. Oh, the Farmer's Daughter, that's sealed. Hmm, Chippendale. Looks like it was sealed, but it got tore back. Silverado. I don't like that the, see the, the crinkling happening on the label there. It means that these probably got a little bit hot. Jagged Edge, the boat, Clint Eastwood, Bad News Bears, and uh, that seal, that might be something, another Clint Eastwood, War Games, sealed, brand new, okay, so there's War Games right here, sold for 12 bucks, it's not big money, um, but still, it obviously adds up when you have that much, but I think that's one of the standouts, I'm, and I just saw that scrolling through, I wasn't looking for it, 750, 13, there's James Bond, seven dollars fifty cents. Uh, there are some that are doing much bigger money. Like there's a Halloween, sixty nine, but best offer taken. Superman. Yeah, only ones that look like they're big money are the horror movies. There's Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, sold for one hundred twenty five dollars. So definitely a little bit better with the horror genre. Yeah. All right. Well, anyways, I'll probably take them maybe to De Anza, try to get five bucks each on them, except I'll go through them and pull out any horror and maybe take a little bit closer look. That war game is just super cool and it is sealed. So maybe we get a little bit more for it. All right, guys, I'm going through this right here and I, I just got to say again, it just smacks of the other locker. I got the Jungle Anch locker, just random stuff like this right here. Nice little handbag i mean it's not like super nice but it's not super bad either it's good condition it's got some stuff on it, it just needs to be cleaned i don't know that brand it's, it seems decent can't tell if that's leather or not oh look at this found this in there look at this belt that's so dope those are not real bullets oh but it's just super cool super cool found this in there wonder woman justice league 3d puzzle it looks like it's been resealed it's taped resealed most likely but Superhero stuff, you know, Rosetti, and it seems cheaper. Uh, what else did we find in here? I think that's about it, but I, everything's just like tangled up on each other like this. Look at this. It's just like, it takes a long time to get through this and not a lot of great stuff coming out, but it is fun. It definitely is still a good time to be had. All right, guys, I'm working down these shells right here. Make a progress, make a progress. A couple of updates wanted to show you. This right here, not nothing special about this other than the fact that it is Supergirl or Superwoman or Supergirl. I don't know what they call it, but I forget. Uh, this is just, again, another resemblance to the other locker, the Junk Lance. The guy was a big Supergirl collector. So I don't think that many people are into Supergirl, are they? I don't know. This right here, pretty cool X-Force. Uh, <laughs> It's funny, Deadpool, X-Force, extra large, a little big, very dirty inside. Still a neat one, Spider-Man. This wood piece right here is interesting. Indonesia, Wirata, look at this, beautiful. Hand carved, I bet. And it looks like it's in good condition. I see no chips, no cracks. I'm surprised by that. Look at this little leather wallet right here. Another very cool piece. Looks handmade and inside, Hollyhock Designs, handmade in Canada. There's your confirmation, it is handmade. Very cool piece, Very. I just think it's neat. I think it's neat. A uh, bunch of handbags, nothing too crazy exciting. That's Jones, New York right there. This one, New Day, A New Day. Those might go to Dianza. I don't know if we'll sell them in our auction. 
it's got to be really really good to make our auction guys we only we only put the best aside i don't know i don't see a brand on that but that's kind of a neat piece right there but this one's cool chaps right there look at the inside it's clean beautiful beautiful this one ooh, i just saw a pen ink stain right there oh man i think that's leather i don't know this one's not as clean it needs to be cleaned up a little bit no brand in there i think i'll let that go actually just stockton and then this one in here uh, uh actually that's kind of dirty inside scala collection oh, i don't know it's, good. it's kind of pretty though. Look at the nice little badge. And then this right here. Oh, I didn't even see it said whiskey. How funny. I just see that it says import from Japan right there. I thought that was a neat little bottle for the shelf. Once again, getting the feeling I got the same locker as the guy I bought from before. Bought his locker before. Look at this. Here's some price guides for vintage toy. Or this for antiques right there. This right here. McDonald collectibles and this right here collectible toys. This is so interesting to me because in that other locker Which I dubbed junk lunch. I also found a price guide for toys and I also found old toys I was like wow this guy's a toy collector and uh, we found those Popeye those cast iron Popeye toys and Right here Star Trek and Star Wars. I mean and all these are price guides. These are all price guides in here big old books I don't think these are really that useful anymore unless you just want to flip through and learn uh, because you know Google image and eBay and worth point is there's such good resources today using the internet but um wow a couple of family guy DVD sets and also I think we found those in the other locker so many similarities and the way everything's packed is so similar but maybe that's not that uncommon to pack things like this I don't know I haven't found that many lockers this messy but I don't usually buy too many messy lockers so what do I know but that one did have a lot of comic books. Uh, that was the one with surprise in the back. Comics and sports cards. We're still selling some of those comics and sports cards a little bit. We still have a little bit more to go. Um, more so we're working on the newer comics that we purchased. But still, oh man, what do you think guys? Is there a chance there's any comics back here? I'm so hoping to see some long boxes. Maybe a whole stack of them back there. That would be amazing really. Oh, wow. There could be anything in here. You cannot see can't see there's so much more to go it goes all the way back in there all right this uh box is looking interesting and also like the other locker <laughs> i'm sorry guys if i keep seeing that i just i'm blown away when it the parallels here are just really uncanny this right here a little psp game all right doesn't look like it's big big money because it's 20 dollars used but still any any video games we're going to set aside of course this thing just fell over <laughs> i don't even know where it fell from this thing just fell over and that's the microsoft 360 it's like i said video games and this thing literally fell over that's a power supply for an xbox jack mcdowell right here i don't know if that's anything but huh. we'll have to go probably batman some other superhero uh no okay i thought that was the xbox piece is it no it's not i guess it made me work but i don't know Got here. This is like the other locker, guys. This is one of those little, what's the name of it? Femme Fatale? No, it's they're like little vi female vinyl figurines. We found a bunch of them in the other locker. Hmm. We also had loose cards thrown in random boxes like this. Oh, that's is that Ultron? Not Ultron. Ultraman. Here's another little vinyl. Uh, honers, home honers. Old standby little um, case for. A harmonica and so that's a transformer but i think it's a happy meal toy or something still kind of neat though it's a venom or something oogie boogie a little uh christmas ornament i think oh look at this guy that's dragon ball z i think it's a little diecast wolverine right here let me go through this and uh quite a few pez i wonder if those are worth anything but quite a few uh quite a bit of stuff here let me go through it and i'll pull out what i think is the best the best most interesting stuff we'll take a look at that afterwards okay guys i went through all that and uh look at that some there's a couple more slabs for uh baseball sports cards whatever and these are the ones i, I pulled out so i did find that owner what happened to the box now i don't know but um yeah look at this guy it's kind of creepy there's a little tiny bible with real pages in there hmm. some parts to more dragon ball z figurines a couple of die cast in here keychains coins it's another superhero maybe i don't know who that is but um oh look at this extasia it's a perfume new brand it says 
I think it's perfume. Yeah. Parfums, new brand. I don't know if that's worth anything. I'll put it aside. This guy's kind of nice. Sully from Monsters, Inc. It looks like he's broke off of something here. Yeah, he's broke there, too. I'll put it aside. Oh, a lot of little guys, little vinyl guys. Nope, that's the one that's supposed to be in there. <laughs> um, I pulled out keychains whenever I find a cool keychain. I'll probably do a big keychain lot at some point. Some kind of little metal bowl head. It's funny, I went through the whole thing, and then I said, I better go through a second pass. In the second pass, I found the Zippo right here. Uh, it's just funny because I completely missed it the first time. Luggage lock. All right, well, that's still some, I don't know. Is this interesting, guys? I don't know if this is good stuff or not, but it's the best stuff that came out of here. There is a Wii game right there, but it's uh, super scratched up. Call of Duty 3. So this will go to the market. This will go home. Maybe we'll just lot all that together. Pull out a couple items that don't go with the others, like, you know, that, and that, and that. <laughs> Maybe sell the rest all together. I don't know. All right, next bin from up there. Got little Star Wars toys going. Millennium Falcon and oh, it's a Hot Wheels diecast. Okay, that's cool. And then this right here. It's a little flattened, little crushed up, but um, Marvel Rising Secret Warriors. I don't know about this. A Squirrel Girl. That sounds kind of familiar, but not really. But it's brand new. Bot bottom's getting tore open, but that was eleven fifty on sale. $23 full price. Kind of kind of neat. Kind of neat. Kind of neat. Whoa. Hmm. Okay. Oh, another brand new toy. Yoke Watch. Jibanyan. Jibanyan. Another brand new thing. That's cool. Ben 10 DVD. Oh, what is this? Oh, guys, look at this. Rocketeer 3D comic. Eye-popping 3D art, and it's got some kind of a cassette in there, too. What a gimmick, but that's kind of neat. Antique Trader Weekly. Food Fight Popper, another brand new toy here. Don't think, yeah, this is a 99 cent one. I don't think that's too much, but Hello Kitty Wallet. It's kind of nice, but it's also kind of dirty right here. That's too bad because I'd probably try to resell that, but I mean, we're going to resell it, which is going to bring it to the market, but I meant try to resell it at a little better, better place. Whoa, look at this. Tarantula Run, half marathon. This is a heavy piece of metal right here. 2017. What a cool, what a cool me metal. Hatchimals. Hmm. Yoke Watch. Another one of these. There's two of those. Interesting. There's a lot of Nerf guns. Um, I think I'm just bringing the stock in, but pro probably they deserve better than that. That's pretty gross. Whatever that was. Making food or making, oh, probably, um, cotton candy maybe? I'm not sure. We're gonna let that go though. Ferragamo. Made in Italy. Ser Salvatore. Ferragamo. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. I think the other one might be in there. We'll look at that later. There's some blue poo. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this, guys. It's an elephant. Hmm. That's neat. Why is it neat? I don't know. Manhattan toy. I don't know why. I just think that is a really cool piece right there. I'll put it aside. Hmm. Diecast factory. Oh, yeah, look at this one. <laughs> That's cool. Little brand new Legos. Nope, it's open. Rubik's Cube. Oh, this is cute. Squeeze me. Hey, squeeze me. <laughs> look at this thing. Talk Light 2. Hospital noise management system. Talk Light. That is... That's weird. Green, yellow, red... So if there's too much noise, did it turn the red on and stop or something? I don't know. That's, that's a li little bit different. Okay, there's none sold. But if I look at what's listed, there's two. One's on a pedestal, $131. And the other one isn't. The other one looks just like this. It's for sale for $300. Plus $64 shipping. So I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on, on this. That's going to get put aside. Okay, guys. I'm pulling out some kind of interesting stuff from here. Oh. The way it's put in, again, is just so, so crazy. That looks... Uh, Disney floral and gifts. That's kind of interesting. A little chalkboard there. Metal. That's a little different. This is kind of neat. Plug that in. I bet you it does like a weird thing in the background. Um, what else did I pull out? Oh, I pulled out this. Look at this. Raggedy Ann and Andy. Uh, very old looking ceramic piece, but unfortunately it's broken. It was like that when I found it, but um, and some old paper on there, but yeah, that's another sign this guy collected toys, right? Collected some toys. What else we got in here? Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at this. 
Funko Pop. Gremlin, maybe? I don't know what that is. It looks like a Funko Pop, though. Oh, it's a Green Goblin, maybe? From Spider-Man? Oh, wow. What's this? It plugs into an air hose. What is that? That looks like a serious piece of business right there. Oh, okay, what's this? Textbook of Organic Chemistry. Very old book here. Hmm. I don't see the date. I don't know. I'd say it's probably 100 years old, though. Just from the look of it. Oh, look at this. What is this thing? Oh, I don't know. I think this does... Feels like it takes batteries. Oh, that's a neat piece, too. All right, I pulled this thing out and check it out. It's a scale. A very high-end, large and heavy, and looks like a little bit old, scale. Pennsylvania scale. Capacity 50 pounds. Model C200-9. So maybe we can look that up, see if we can find anything about this. This is interesting. Looks, looks like the type that would go inside of a store. All right, once again, no sold. No sold comps to look at, but there's one for sale, 379 And there's another one for 200 Both of them are for pickup only. No shipping available. Um, so, yeah, it gives it, I don't know, what do you think? 7500 bucks at the market. Got some uh, Dyson vacuums, and I say vacuums is in plural because I got this one, which looks pretty nice. And then we got this right here. It's just part of one. And we got another part uh, that I also found and stuck in the trailer, but behind it, oh, what's this? This is just books. But this, Jefferson Nichols, 2004. Ooh, 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 what's this? What is this? It's nothing. Ah, it's just a book. All right. Nice little book, but it's just a book. I was hoping for some nickels, and come to think of it, uh, in the last lock, Junkalanch locker, which may or may not be related, I did find, I think, some blank books, but I also found some good coins, too. So, who knows? All right, this box, it has some toys. That's kind of a neat robot right there. These Pez, brand new Pez, but they're all macked up. Christmas theme. A few miscellaneous stuff, but this right here is interesting. Waterman Paris. Waterman. And, uh, look at that. Looks like it might be a gold tip fountain pen right there that looks to be a little bit nicer and it says paris this right here a uh, little little chipped up right here but it says made in italy and it's like a ceramic mushroom thought that was kind of neat so i put it aside i'll make a new bin here um another one is quill pens we found one earlier it's not as impressive as that waterman look at this that's super neat it's just a i think a still shot from the movie the tie fighter there and sepia stone uh sepia tone i mean here's the atari flashback game and yeah, i don't know if that's worth anything a little egg here made in china it's just kind of neat um but this is this has got me very curious oh look it's got a q-tip in there that's kind of funny this right here is like flaking off so whatever that is 4603 but really that label is just deteriorating this one right here hudson soft 1987 raid on bunselin bunselin bunselink bay right here um, what are those for? Is those Atari games? I'm not even sure. Genesis, I don't know what those are, but those look like they might be a little more interesting. Maybe, maybe more rare. And, uh, I got that box from right here. I'm starting to work into this area here. Uh, really, it should be clearing the aisle first. I want to get this out. I want to get this gone. Uh, the ch corner's chipped up. This is extremely heavy. And when I pull it out, it's like, there's nowhere to go with it. I wish I had a helper right now because this is really a two-man job. This thing is heavy. And then, oh, jeez, look at this. I got a little fender bender, apparently. Um, this one, that definitely needs to come out, too. I need, I need to get that to the, the flea market. I need to get it gone. What else can we see back here? It looks like I got another Dyson right here. Guys collecting Dysons. Eh, not seeing too much good. Not too much good. Seeing just a lot of, a lot of junk. The bottom, the bottom of these things is just totally thrashed. There's been a couple of them in there. They're just, they're thrashed. <laughs> All right, guys, I haven't been filming in a while, but I've been busy, and you can see the progress. Digging out a hole here is very difficult. This stuff is twisted. This stuff is stacked. Look at this. This beam right here is falling out. I was scared that when I pulled that stuff out, the beam would go down. I'm also scared that when I pull this out, that beam's going to go down, and this stuff is starting to bow. And there's uh, tons of stuff up there, so I don't know if I should start from the top down or what, but I got I to gotta get this. But look at this. Got a whole Craftsman toolbox here. That's kind of interesting. I think that'll sell. And then we got a huge stack of electronics here. I'm not see Ooh, there's a trunk. Ooh, the speaker there. Um, oh, and the light just went out on the timer. Oh, all right. Well, 
I've got like another, geez, maybe like 30 minutes. Look at this mess I made out here. It's terrible. This is starting to fill up now. Not too much room here. I've not been putting garbage in there. A couple things here. Pokemon book. PS3 is sealed right here. That's kind of neat. Can I show this Barbie? I don't know. It's 1989. It's a case. It's in okay shape. Uh, this is funny. Starbucks apron. We had one. I'm not sure what happened to it. I think Jenna threw it out, but I found another one. <laughs> this right here is a, um, I think it's a phone. Yeah, it's a phone. Coke Zero phone. Pretty funny. And this right here, I just put it aside because it's got that mid-century look. I love it. It's a clock radio. Model number 7-4728A. And then like a label maker, some airsoft pellets. What's this right here, guys? This says it is a... Banda Bias Carpet Bowls. Carpet Bowls made in England. I'm not sure what that is, but it looks nice quality. Oh, and we didn't even talk about this. Look at this. The Generac. It's really dark, but the Generac pressure washer. Gas powered pressure washer. So that should bring a few dollars at the flea market. Well, anyways, guys, let's sort of wrap this up. Good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Lock Arts.